Let's take a look at back-to-back uh, -back MOSFETs, okay? I'm going to connect them common source. We have the two sources tied together. Now, the reason we do this is that they have this uh, body diode in there, okay? And it's just intrinsic part of the uh, structure of the, uh, the MOSFET itself. And uh, we can't eliminate that. So, uh, and if the unit is off, then current can pass through that diode, okay? And we don't want that to happen. We, we want to block any reverse current coming through here. So we put two of them together back to back like this, and these diodes are back to back, so no current can pass through the diodes, okay? And this is a, a, a P-channel MOSFET, same thing. We put the diodes are, are back to back there, okay? Now, if we uh, bias the gate on, okay, then the uh, the unit turns on and current can flow. It can it can flow from source to drain or drain to source. You can go back and forth either direction, okay? But when it's off and we have two of them, no current can flow. Now, this is a uh, representation of a, an internal MOSFET enhancement of what it looks like inside. So we have our gate up here. We've got a metal plate there. And in between that and the main body of the transistor there, we have silicon dioxide, which acts as an insulator. And so we put positive up here to bias it on, and we need a negative on this P, P material down in here now. So we take the negative to the source down here, and the source is internally tied to the P material inside the, the MOSFET itself. So this becomes negative and positive, and electrons can flow into this region up here, and this creates a channel in the silicon uh, between the source and the drain, and the unit, unit turns on, okay? So, and in order to turn it off, we have to take this ground, this uh, gate to, to ground, okay, to turn it off. So, over here, uh, I have the positive going to the, uh, to the gate here, which is good. Now, in order to turn it on, we have to have, uh, we have to have negative on this uh, source over here, these two source pins, okay? So, what I'm doing, I'm using a uh, capacitor, I'm using a, a two microfarad capacitor on there. Uh, and that capacitance is enough to, uh, to turn this on, okay? Uh, you could connect it solid, but I want to, I'm putting a capacitor in there, and that seems to work fine, okay? And uh, this is the uh, P-channel MOSFET, and it's the same thing. I'm putting a capacitor in there to, to turn it on. Now, I'm going to take it over to the uh, oscilloscope, and I'm going to put AC through it, and I'll show you the sine wave. And then I'm going to uh, turn one off and then turn the other one off and uh, show you what happens. This is the, uh, the unit here I'm going to use. Um, this happens to be the P channel, and this is the uh, N channel MOSFETs here. But uh, we're going to take it to the uh, scope and uh, see what happens. All right, here we are at the oscilloscope, and I have a uh, one kilohertz signal going through the uh, MOSFETs. These happen to be uh, uh, two P channel MOSFETs here. And uh, you, see, you can see I get a good uh, sine wave through there. Now, I'm going to turn one of them off. There we go. And uh, you see the diode in the other one is blocking the uh, top part of the signal. And turn that back on. There we go. And then I'm going to turn the other one off. There we go. And it's blocking the, the bottom part of the signal there. So, uh, and if I turn them both uh, off, it blocks the uh, entire signal there, so um, that's working fine that way. And the uh, the end channel works the same way, so very good. Thank you.